Good morning here. This is Craig from Craig's it's Car Care. Going to give you a real short rundown on timing belts. Got a nifty little display here for us. And just a real quick rundown here is a tensioner assembly, idler, water pump, crankshaft, and camshaft. This represents a single overhead cam. If it was a dual overhead cam, you could have up to two of these per head in your cylinder heads there. Um, what I wanted to share with you today was a little different. So on this one here, if you break the timing belt, they're usually recommended between 60 and around 100,000 miles. And on today's newer vehicles, if these belts break, it's a rubber belt and it has its time limit. If these cogs break off, then the two main players here, the crankshaft in its gear and the camshaft in its gear, or camshafts, have to stay apart from each other. What's behind here can be valves that stick down and of course the piston from the crankshaft that sticks up. These are in time to where when a piston comes up and the valves come down, they are not doing it at the same time, otherwise they would hit. It's only separated yeah, by a rubber belt. Pretty, you gotta, you gotta, so um, out in the shop, just, a lot noisier, so I thought I'd come in here to show you, is I've got this so timing belt we just took I, off I, of I, a I vehicle, one, so and it was right. driven and about 90,000 miles, now, and the belt it's broke it's on it. So down here, I got it turned inside out. So down here, this was sitting on the camshaft, I'm sorry, on the crankshaft like this, and when they went to start it back up, one day to leave for work, it stripped out all these teeth. And this belt is so bad and so worn out, I wanted to show you this, that the rubber teeth are actually peeling off of the belt. I can just peel these off one at a time, and that's all that's holding this together. So this belt is in such bad shape. You know, like here by the light. Trying to give you a better picture here. Yeah, if we can, if we can start seeing the Maybe I should get a better camera. Times, I can show you but this kind of shows you what we're talking about on your timing belt. I've turned this one inside out. And everything in here is, you see all the little lines in between the belt and the, uh, the ribs there? You can see where the fiber of the belt is starting to show. Is It's not oil soaked or anything. It's just literally gone the extent of its life. Now on this motor, they got extremely lucky that this goes to, and that the valves and the pistons did not contact each other. And so we put a new belt on it. It was the easiest thing to, to do to see if the engine was damaged, was to pop a belt in there and see what we have for compression and, and uh, cylinder performance. And we've got really good compression on all four cylinders and uh, it runs really well with no misfire codes. So we're going to recommend, of course, now that we've just got a belt on it, to replace the vehicle's uh, tensioner. Uh, this one here represents a hydraulic tensioner. Some are just put just a spring in here, a spring weight tensioner, and this, if the vehicle drives, this keeps tension on the belt so it doesn't slip. We'll also recommend the water pump by all this is apart. There's covers. On this car that this one came off of is a PT Cruiser, and it takes several hours okay. just to get everything apart, just to see the belt. So why it's apart, we're recommending replacing the idler, the water pump. Um, there's a camshaft seal we'll replace, and a crankshaft seal we'll recommend to replace also. And this is not the same as the drive belt that's on the outside of your vehicle that you can see. This is a timing belt that rests behind several plastic covers and other bracketry to protect it from dirt and debris and, and dust, but you can't see it from the outside. What can happen if this does break, and here's an example of one from off it, that was off an old three-cylinder, where it actually did break a timing belt a number of years ago, and it sits in our display here, we call it our display of shame, where parts have failed just because of maintenance in most cases. Now you see here, those pieces you see laying there, I'll try to use a shadow there and there, those are the heads of the valves that used to sit like this on stems. And when they came in contact with the piston, the piston exploded, bending the rod, and breaking the valves off. That's a valve there. 
and the stem is completely broke off when they all hit. It was a catastrophic failure, and that's actually the timing belt that's behind the case there. I can't get to it, but you can see it has broken teeth there, and it actually, down here at the end, you probably can't see. There are no more teeth. It's all stripped out, and this belt actually ripped in half. So I had the belt in here laid out long ways. And there's lots of things in this case a shame to look at. If you're interested, let me know and I'll shoot another video of uh, all three cases. So timing belts. Do them when they're due. Thanks for watching. Craig Scarpe.